பொருளாதார Welcome back. We are Arkham Reactor, and this reaction is going to be a first one for Big G again. As all the ones that I pick are first time reaction for Big G. This one's with um, Temptation with Taya, um, who used to be with Nightwish, and the song is called Paradise. Uh, me and Big G have just got to admit it straight off. We're not big with um, Temptation fans. It's not some. It doesn't seem like our cup of tea, but. Uh, we like this, but well, I like this song, and I've given with them temptation a few chances. I'm sure if we do like, if Big G does like this, I'm sure we might go down a kind of see if there's any songs that Big G would like because he's they've got one with Howard Jones as well. That's quite a good one. Yeah, I, I knew Howard Jones would spark his interest, but this one's Paradise. What about us? And uh, it's featuring Taya, formerly of Nightwish, now a solo singer. So we're gonna go. Oh, before we do, I want to talk about the links first, though. That's why. That's why I didn't maybe we switch you. With. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake! See what he put up with. Um, first of all, we have up, up um, the Patreon. Uh, if you want to support what we do in the in the background, the, all the stuff we pay for to keep your channel running, come on the Zoom meets. They'll be exclusive soon. Only coming to Patreon. Because um, we're gonna make some. Um, and there's Big G's dog in the background, so you might even get to see Big G's dog. Potentially. Um, we also have the Facebook group and the Discord. That's where you can, uh, best place usually to recommend songs. If you want to recommend us any songs, new bands, etc, etc. Finally, we have the, the Spotify playlist, which Big G keeps on top of. When he's supposed to. When, when he remembers. When I remember. Yeah, when he remembers. Which is just basically all the songs we've reacted to in chronological order, just in case you want to go listen to the originals without us blabbing in on in the middle. But anyway. Yeah, as long as you've watched this first. Uh, just as long as you have watched this yeah. first. <clears throat> so, we're going to get into it. Them Temptation featuring Taya uh, Paradise. We're going in three, two, one, go. Okay.
We'll pause it there quickly. Jesus. Now, that's an unexpected mashup, isn't it? It is, but like um, Amaranth, it's, it, it all sounds a bit ABBA to me. A bit ABBA? I think it's just the European influence that you're getting. I think yeah, it must be the way they mix the stuff, because it just, see the vocals, it, it really all sounds like ABBA. I don't get. I don't really get the ABBA reference anymore. I kind of got it with Amaranth, but this I, I kind of get it. And I don't. I don't. Except for Talia, because you can hear her in the background. You can hear her really, really high pitch stuff. You know, and it's. That's just that's. I've always loved what she does. That's the stuff I kind of miss when it comes to kind of mainstream music. You don't hear Taya in the kind of a lot more than you used to. When it used to be with Nightwish, she was always in the charts. Nowadays. It's lucky if it's in the top 100 of metal when Nightwish always seems to get into it. It's kind of a thing that I think I miss when it comes to Tyre. That she's not as... Well, she releases songs and I check them out on Spotify, but she's just not as kind of... What's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. The word's not popular. Prolific? I, mean, I don't know. It's a weird one. But it, it's, this is kind of... One of only two kind of within Temptation songs I actually like. The other one's by Howard Jones. Now I can't uh, anything by Howard Jones I'm going to listen to. Put it that way. Taya, I've obviously got the Nightwish collection. Some of our own personal stuff, and now this. Let's see how the rest of it goes for you. We're going to go back ten seconds, uh, just in case something else sparks your eye that we've missed. Are you ready? Right. I am indeed. Three. Two, one, go.
Oof. Tyus vocal runs again. She's she still got it, man. She still got she's it. She's never lost it. And might I say, she still looks bloody good. Mm-hmm. She does. Fucking hell, that's it's just in the in regards to the video when it starts to go up with that pure like whatever it was, lightning beam or whatever, and then the that just starts with operating like, oh no. Oh, that was incredible, man. But I, th I think I get what you mean when it... It's, <laughs> it just... Uh, I don't know. It's It all sounds... Musically, musically, right? I'm not going to fault the music because that, musically that was that was awesome. It's a beautiful piece. Video is... That was immense. That is so well made, that video. Yeah. But... I don't, I don't know what it is. It, it's just... They seem to have a particular way of mixing the vocals and they double it up they double up the vocals constantly as well so you get that almost like two or three people singing at once even if there's only one singer mm -hmm. it always sounds like there's at least two or three people singing mm -hmm. and it just it all ends up sounding too poppy you know, uh, it really does. I get what you mean. It's like the it's like vocal duplicates over and over. Mm -hmm. It's over overdone. You know, it just strip it down. One vocal track. Engineers are gonna are gonna be if they're watching this are gonna be going. But that's not the way it's done. I know that. Usually, it's one vocal track that's duplicated into the left channel, into the right channel, and then. One channel has the effects on it so that you have more control over yeah. how much you're putting into the vocal track. But have one vocal track, you know, instead of this constantly doubling up. Because what you tend to find is is that you get used to that sound, and then when they're live, it's not there. It's just that one person singing. It sounds stripped back. Yeah. You know. And and then it'll be kind of a. It depends on what version you kind of prefer. In that case, if you rather prefer the the kind of vocal duplication, that's what you're going to expect when you go and see them exactly. live. And that's not exactly. where that's where you're not going to get because that you needs to feel robbed. You know? Exactly. I, 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 I can get what you mean. I don't think it's the way ABBA's going, the way you're taking it, but I can get what you mean when you kind of go ABBA. It's kind I of. I just use ABBA as a. As a an example a comparison because like they did have four people singing at once yeah i don't know why i put both hands up there that'd be eight people but four people singing at once so yeah. created this huge vocal space in the mix yeah you know and that's what that has and i think it kind of takes too much away from the music then i think you know, because you're if you're listening in headphones you're just getting this massive massive vocal space and the music kind of takes a back seat then. I think you know? what we'll do... Uh, there is a live version of this, and it's actually pretty much similar, but it is, in a way, I would say more stripped back than what this is, but I find yeah. the, live, the live version a little bit better, just personally, because Taya does more vocal runs than that, because it's obviously yeah. you've got the freedom to do it when you're live, when you're kind of stating the album, you've got a kind of, kind of set, kind yeah, of piece. Yeah, you do the kind of play to the crowd thing and whatnot. Yeah, we kind of just play it to say make Both it for issues. Yeah, and then the read and the live one, she she does just more, and I can't take it. I can't take anything away from what I heard. Drums were exactly on point, actually. Yeah, I've... it's a great tune. It's a very great tune. You know, I loved it musically, but it's too distracting. All of those vocals going on. I know yeah. it's too vocalist anyway, but. Like I said, the way it's been mixed, it's just there's too many vocals. Then I think we have, yeah. I think we might be call ourselves Arkham Reactor mixing problems because we. Yeah. That, that, I think we. I think I get what you mean. And as uh, every time I listen to something different, I I start to kind of point it out. Mm. It's I I'm in fact can get what you mean. Um, I'm in fly are fantastic. Um, I'm get, sure they are because I mean they're, they're all competent musicians and she has a great voice she does yeah it's just uh, I think engineers get your act together my Jack yeah. stop stop sticking to this script that you have where you have to 
triple or quadruple the vocals, you know. Yeah. Let the music do it. Let the music create the space. You just, the vocals. you just want it raw. You know, because one thing, just, just before we finish, right, there's one thing um, that everybody seems to have a problem with. I don't have a problem with female vocalists, right? I'm a massive Floor fan. I love Alyssa uh, Gliss White, uh, Angela Gosser. You know, there's some incredible female vocalists. One thing that I hear a lot of people saying, though, is that if you have a female front front person in the band, right. it takes the attention away from the band. Who does pe who do people always remember if you have a female front front person? They always remember the female. But by doing what they're doing in the mix, that's just that's just doing that even more. Then mm. they're leading people to do that. Then, so strip it back. I mean. Your woman there has an incredible voice on her own. She doesn't need tripled up and quadrupled up in the vocals, on the vocal tracks. Let the music kind of come through a bit more. Yeah. But what do I know? I'm not a sound. I'm not a sound engineer or a producer. You know, but that, that I'm could, just a listener. That could not even produce a fucking track. <laughs> no, I mean the fucking else. But I, I get what you mean. Yeah. Just I now I do not night wish don't do it. No. They don't, cause well, not 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 what I've heard. Because they maybe do it, you know, just for the sake of harmonies and stuff. Uh, yes, but right then. But when you think of Nightwish, you always just I, I always just thought always the always the main person that's always there has always been to a mass. But if that's the voices are, if the voices are powerful enough oh, already. Why do why double it up, mm -hmm. quadruple it up, and etc. You know, it doesn't make sense to me. No. And it just it's a waste of the audio space. You know, they can do a lot more with the music then, make the music more powerful and have it sitting where it complements the vocals more and doesn't take a back seat. Exactly, yeah, because I, I was mainly trying to listen for the, the bass and that was... Whoa. I couldn't hear any bass. I did. And I'm a bass player. I'm a bass player and I, I could not hear the bass. I was too distracted because there was too many vocals. Okay, but overall, Big G did... Did like it. We'll probably like the live yeah. version even more. Yeah. But I think we have an audio problem. I think we're becoming audio files without being an expert in them, which is fine. I always do it with a lot of tracks anyway, you know. But usually I don't have a lot to say about the mixing because it's usually good in the first place. But I'm finding that a lot more with these European bands, they all seem to stick to this formula when it comes to vocals. Make the vocals bigger. Some American bands do it as well. I've I've got quite a number of lists of American bands that do it, but that's for another day. Yeah. Anyway, folks, make sure you hit the. I digress. Yes, we digress. Just two cents, if you know what I'm on about. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and even give us some more within temptation. But uh, if we can find ones that aren't as vocally dubbed, if I, if that's the right word, then we're more for it. But as this is the case now, we're going to start getting a little bit picky. Going to get picky. Get the, the vocal dubs away. Bring on the... In fact, we might just do the live performances so we actually get the proper raw vocal. In fact, that's what we'll do. Not a bad idea. In fact, no, I kind of like the live ones. I think I would rather, I think I would rather do that, to be honest, because, mm. like I said, you hear... Everything. The way it's supposed to be, as far as I'm concerned. Aye. No, I get what you mean. We'll do that. Live performances for Within Temptation, send them down below, and we'll get them on the list. Anyway, folks, bye!